Time for more uh, Tohomin uh, dogs or yeah, you uh, Let's hold up the safe state. I am. Um, I made an. This is gonna be a, th a thing now. <laughs> yeah, you're. Okay, so um. So, uh, as soon as I start recording, I'm already going to close the window because, uh, yeah, you're already hearing background noise, my god. I'm already st starting a re recording tonight, my god. Uh, yeah, you're, uh, this is, this feels really weird because, uh, today, um... Today I am recording on a Sunday night. Yeah, what the hell? Like, I uh, feel like it's been so long since I've done that. Um... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So, like, um... why is the volume in the headset seems so loud to me? I don't know why. The monitor is just like normal volume. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so uh, yeah, you're. Um... I took uh, like a little nap today after I got out of work because uh, I wanted to, and I'm like, uh, since I did that, I might actually have the energy to record tonight. And, uh, it's like, it's not like I, like, I haven't been recording on Sundays, like, I've been doing Mondays instead, because I just never, never had the energy, not really. Last week, I think I almost did, but I decided against it for some reason. I think I already talked about why, uh, right, I think it was like, I didn't want to edit, or, like, I guess, obviously, like, I probably could record, but not edit, I'm like, I might as well just do a Monday then, you yeah. know. I think I was kind of tired just on Monday anyway, so I don't know. I was thinking, like, um... Like, I'm not sure I would be I would have that much energy today, but like thinking about like how I was last week, I'm like it probably won't be won't be too bad. I feel kind of human though. I don't know why. That's why I really wanted the window open, but whatever. Yeah, you're. I feel like today might be like not that good of a day for um, for background noise reasons, but um, I was like I like I kind of sort of have the energy to record on a Sunday for once, and uh, like I was like prepared to do this. I'm like I I've been wanting to do this recording. I'm like I'm not gonna put it off after all, after I'm, like, uh, so, like, kind of gung-ho about doing this recording on Sunday, so I'm, like, I'm doing it anyways, uh, so whatever, sure, I hopefully it won't be too bad, yeah, yeah, you're, so anyways, uh, I did some stuff off-screen, as you could imagine, I already said I would, um, a grind off-screen, and yeah, you have other stuff to talk about as well, um, uh, I wrote some stuff down to talk about, there's a lot of stuff I wrote about, what the hell, and, um, Usually, also like uh, gratitude some of my members as well. I normally like put up in scoring text, right? Like, uh, excuse me, how much their stats increased? And uh, uh, yeah, you're. I've actually prepared that uh, beforehand, like in an editing thing for later on, so I don't have to do it later. Yeah, you're. Uh, I'll put it up on screen, I guess, right now. Uh, yeah, you're. I'm assuming I haven't done it yet. <laughs> yeah, you're. I think it's right text. I also put up what moves they learned, back I could show off them here also anyways uh Sakai did not level up so I don't bother, need to bother showing her off right now I don't think Yukari learned anything either but whatever anyways uh, I hope I have the energy to talk about all the stuff I wrote down my god anyways first of all um <laughs> last time I think I had the volume set to 18 for OBS in the game volume like for recording and it was way too loud. Uh, I think 17 might might also still be too loud, but I'll have it at 17 anyways, because that was like, that's like the volume I tend to put uh, for like all my Tohomon games. For Season Ages, I also did as well, yeah, yeah. It's like the volume I always put for VBA games, except Amazing Mirror is a weird exception. I still have no idea why I have to put it so high for that game, but whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'll be 17 for this, um, I'm assuming, I'm, I'm gonna guess the game volume for this game is gonna be 16 or 17, something like that, for, like, the rest of the playthrough, yeah, yeah. So anyways, um, okay, so in the middle of editing episode one, I got another berry, I had Poison Cure Berry off screen, because yeah, it passed midnight, like, during recording, right? And I didn't feel like getting them on during recording, yeah. Anyways, while doing so, I, oh, I forgot about this, actually, I ran into a wild sea wriggle... On, on the route above Cherry Grove and caught it, I then put my six berries in the PC. Uh, I caught other stuff off screen, so I'll read like all the dex entries like at once later. Um, actually, that's the next thing I wrote down anyways, yeah. Oh yeah, did I mention I would 
potentially try getting berries off screen like during the week. I completely forgot about that, so I didn't do that. I, I don't, the only berries I got were the one off screen and were the ones I just mentioned. Yeah, I, I actually just realized that now. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Oh, whatever. Anyways, I uh, caught caught in the afternoon, the day after recording. Uh, a C Tokiko, C Sunny Milk, and C Aya. I caught C Tokiko and C Sunny Milk, the root above Cherry Grove. Although C Tokiko can also be found the root right of Cherry Grove. I'm assuming it's just the day version of uh, Mistia then. Although I'm not sure if it appears like in the mountain area, like a like in the middle of Cherry Grove. No, the middle of the like the root I caught Sarah in. I'm assuming that you know what root I'm talking about, right? I hope so. Anyways, um. A sea Aya was found where I caught Sea Sarah last episode. I was surprised to see Sea Sunny Milk in the daytime and not the morning, but I guess Star Sapphire is the one you find in the morning instead, as I couldn't find her then. I'm pretty sure you can catch her somewhere in that route. I couldn't find her, so I'm assuming I guess she's the morning one. That's weird, but whatever. There's a reason I thought Su Sunny Milk was the morning one, but whatever. Anyways, um, I caught another Sea Sarah, which I named uh, Sea uh, C Terra, as I. As you can't include numbers and nicknames in Gen 2 for some reason. I actually forgot about, forgot about that when I tried to nickname her, yeah. Uh, I did so because I remember that C. Sarah has a small chance of holding a focus band, which C. Terra had when I caught her. This took a bit of time to get, as you can imagine. By the way, I used up five Toho orbs in total catching stuff off screen. Yeah, I kept, like, reloading and whatever when I, uh... Like, I would run into a C. Sarah... I think I saved somewhere, like a safe state around that area. I ran into one, and then I tried to catch. And when I when I caught one, and then wasn't holding one, I would reload, and uh, I kept doing that until I caught one with a focus band. I think it's a pretty low chance of catching one. It took quite a bit of time, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're. I feel like it. I was like, I don't think that uh, using safe states for that is a big deal because I could have just like reloaded like like my normal save or whatever. Yeah, so it's shouldn't have been a big big deal, or whatever. Yeah. As I didn't like write down two read the next entries, so I figured I just would normally. I wrote down the numbers, but I think it's based off of this, so I'll change it to this uh, to check the numbers. Maybe actually, maybe I'll just leave it like this because maybe it's more organized. Wait, no, it still seems to be organized the by new, like how it is for regular Johto. So I'll, I'll put it back to that after. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be easier if it was just the, the old, like, set to the old decks, because it shows the numbers for the old decks. Because in Gen 2, they didn't do that for some reason. Uh, don't show any, like, new... No, the numbers are just based off the old decks, not the new one, you know. Anyway, C. Riggle, a Firefly girl who comes out at night as a bug. She's weak against cold and insecticide. Uh, I did write down the numbers. I didn't read the with the numbers. I wrote, like, I wrote down the numbers in my notes next to them in the notes, but I didn't read them out because I feel like it would be pointless because you'll see the numbers when I am looking at them here, you know. See, Tokiko, she is never seen doing anything except openly reading books, often argues with Renosuke. See, Sunny Milk, a sunlight fairy, smart and energe energetic, so she often takes charge, messes up a lot, though. C. Aya, a young Tengu girl from the mountain, greatly enjoys gossip and is proud of her speed. Excuse me. Anyways, in the previous episode, I mentioned that I managed to do something to fill the scene decks in a past file to learn what Tohomon were in the game. I guess I can do this, yeah. Or in the game, and to find out where they were located, as I didn't have any other way of doing so, as I couldn't find a place to look them up online, and I didn't have any software to help me with that, like with the Gen 3 games either. However, I completely forgot that in the folder, the patch for this ROM that came, came with was some notepad documents with information about a bunch of stuff related to the game, like the Tohomon and their movesets and stuff. I had completely forgotten about this for some reason when talking about that last episode. This was something I knew about beforehand, but the thing about altering the decks was something I recalled doing in the past before I realized that the notepad documents existed. 
For some reason, I remember the former, but not the latter. Heh. <laughs> Anyways, thankfully, I remember the notepad. Documents exist now, which should help me a lot during the playthrough lol. I was humoring the idea of using Kenya, um, Kodoko, as my flying type. For this playthrough as a tent member until I get the one I want to use as a main one. As I don't... As I didn't know what other one to use anyway, as I want to avoid using Mystia again. Because I think it'll, it'll be a while till I get the one I actually want. Uh, yeah. I don't... I think I have like a general idea where it is, but I've technically never caught it before while playing, uh, yeah. So it's probably gonna be a while, I'm probably gonna need a flyer, so yeah. Anyways, Kenya is Aya in this ROM hack. However, I ended up finding one off screen before this episode, so I guess I can just use that one instead. Her moveset isn't particularly interesting, but it couldn't hurt to have her on the team for now, as I have some space in my party right now anyway. Since I just caught her off screen, I decided against leveling her up off off screen and will do so during this episode instead. I have leveled the others a bit more than intended to help compensate for this, yeah. So, uh... So yeah, that's why I leveled them up to 7 instead of, um... Instead of to 6. I think I was originally gonna do that, uh... uh since I kinda sorta over-leveled them, I, did, I didn't necessarily think they needed to be that high. I did it because, uh... I is going to be taking EXP from them, I'm assuming, later on, yeah. I figured, uh, so leaving Sakuga at 8 should be fine then, you know. I think I was debating on it, uh, loving her up a bit, but I'm like, nah, should be fine. I hope, yeah. I have, like, what, 40... Four decent level party members, I should be good. That's really good for this early on, yeah. So, uh... Since I wrote down a quite a bit, just in case, I'm going to show off my notes as well. Uh, yeah. It's already midnight, I had to wait a bit to, uh... Like, for like background noise reasons, I decided to wait a bit. Uh, then I'm like, I don't feel like waiting anymore, so I'm gonna record now anyways, yeah. I didn't want to record, like, way past midnight or something. That should be good, right? Uh, the notes are, like, covering, like, a really decent amount of my screen, so... I just closed them, I'm assuming that's fine, right? Yeah, you're... I think that's everything I want to mention, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, not you. Like, when I was reading the notes, I kind of sort of, like, wasn't paying that much attention to what I was reading, because I was concentrating on, like, actually reading, reading, reading them, yeah, you're... So instead of, like, thinking about what to talk about, uh, I just read what my notes said. I'm assuming that's enough, yeah. This should be good. If I forgot to mention anything for some reason, I doubt I did. I can put up a scrolling text, I guess, so I'm not gonna wor worry about it, yeah, you I tried to use my bike, I don't know why I forgot I didn't have one yet, what the hell? <laughs> Anyways. I also grab this uh, before I forget about it. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot Aya. I was like, I, for I think... I forgot uh, why Aya was there, but I'm like, it's, I guess it's just because Aya's not a night encounter, and I tend to play stuff like this at night normally, you know? I suppose. Because I think I remember trying Tokiko in this game, and I don't remember her being that good, so I'm like, I guess I can give Aya a try instead. I checked her moveset, though. Like, I had the notepad thing I mentioned before. So, like, I... Like, I, I felt like I remember, like, seeing their moveset somewhere. <laughs> then I remembered, yeah, it's a, a notepad thing. This is going to be really annoying. Uh, the general idea of what uh, Aya's and everyone else's movesets are. Like, her movesets like uh, about as interesting as like a Gen 2 Pidgey, so... <laughs> it'll do for having a flying, for flying type coverage, but um, there's like a more interesting flying type I can get later. I'm, I probably, I'm assuming I'd rather use her over, um... Yeah, you're... I know this, I can get the, I don't feel like going for the Poison Cure Berry all the way near uh, po Mr. Pokemon's house. Actually, was he changed to Mr. Tohomon? I don't even remember. He sh exactly, he should be, that would make more sense, but uh, yeah. I didn't exactly mention this, but it should be obvious for the border images. Uh, yeah, I put the focus man on her. I figured uh, she's probably like the not the best, um, the one to make the most use of focus man, but I put her on, in honor for now since I got it from another Sarah, technically. Uh, and I put, I found another, the other Poison Cure Berry I just put on Yukari, yeah. In case you're wondering, by the way, I have, um, the other C. Sarah in my party, because, uh, I had space, and, like, I'm no, 
I had extra slots, I'm like, I might as well, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, like, otherwise, I could I could have just left the C Misty or C Chen from last episode, but I decided not to just because. That was an actual bug type. I was finally like swapping her out as like as soon as the battle started, but uh, I was good against the Riggle, so. Now, I believe right, I could find Riggle um, here as well. Yeah, I just happened to find her when getting uh, berries off screen, yeah. Which I mentioned already, right? Wow. Already learned a new move. I'll say that I probably didn't need to grind so much, but it's like it's level 6 already, well. I mean, I know Aya's good against Rago, but I'm like, I'm already starting to think I should- I would have been fine just grinding with 6 instead of 7, but whatever. There's been a certain incident uh, that I always think about, like, um... <laughs> in Enhanced, I think I grinded too much and I made a certain thing. Not as fun because I, uh, over-prepared for it. So yeah, like I already wanted to like make sure not to over level, but I sp after that incident, I especially don't want to. Yeah, it's like level seven's not that high for this early in the game, so whatever. At the very least, in the long run, surely it won't matter that much, so whatever. Stop touching the mic, me, please. There's some unique wilds in here, right? I can go check them out. I can just... Yeah, you got Thunder Wave and... I wait. No, you don't. Why did I think... Yeah, spoilers, you learn Thunder Wave later. Oops. Oh, well. Isn't that surprising? <laughs> really? I think that's one of the reasons I wanted to use her, yeah. I think I mentioned before she's not going to be, like, a main party member, right? Right? Most likely not. She'll also be useful for the first gym as well, yeah. Because, um, I think the first gym is still uses flying types, right? Oh, uh, Faulkner. The only super- yeah. The only super effective thing I have right now is Luna Child, because, uh, uh, Sakura does not know any ice moves, even though she's ice-type, which is annoying. And this game steals not go super effective, super effective, it gets flying, right? I know there's a u at least one unique one, uh, yeah, yeah. So like maybe I can't find her at night, but like considering which one it is, like that would be weird if it was a daytime instead. In my opinion. Okay, uh, that's not the one I was I was thinking of, but yeah, I guess it makes sense for Rumia to be here too. How can I forget about Rumia? She's like a basic. Uh, Cave Mon, she's like the basically the Zubat of the whole to Mon games. <laughs> I don't think this is really necessary, but whatever. I'm gonna have to check my recording soon. I'm gonna might as well make the save state ahead of time. Oh, I'm gonna save over it when I check my recording out. Obviously, but yeah, you're. I knew you're level 6, but I'm like, I got a feeling it would, would be fine, but whatever. I see Rumia, she always wanders around aimlessly in her cloud of darkness, but has difficulty seeing it in it herself. The other one I'm thinking of isn't, like, that uncommon, right? I'm assuming R R it would make sense for Rumia to be more common than her, but whatever. As I know, Dun Dunsparce and Vanilla is, like, a kind of rarish encounter in here. So, like, it... it that she replaced Dunsparce in, like, uh, Encounter Raid. I don't think so. I don't think she's as uncommon as Dunsparce. If it takes too long, I can just catch her later. So I'm not planning on using her on my team anyways. I just want to see her here, yeah, yeah. Like, I actually want to encounter Yeah, it's taking a while. I'll try one more time, because it's taking a bit too long. Oh, 
Ah, fine, I'll get her off screen then, oh well. It was when I was actually considering about, like, I'm not gonna use her again, even though, like, part of me kind of wanted to, yeah, I was like, I won't make use a... Like, I already decided on the two repeats I... Yeah, already. I'm already using one of them, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll say this right now, uh, the other one... Is one that was technically a temp member, and I think I was like, I... I had some interest in using her as a main member, and this is the game I decided to use her as a main member in. I, I picked this game in particular because of a very interesting quality about her in this particular game. Um, I guess you, yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, I'll, I'll reach Violet City before I check my recording. At this point, I might as well. Let's, I has health, like, uh, I'll try her anyways. She faints, whatever. Mystery isn't, uh, I think it, I think it's only in Crystal, uh, this trainer, um, you can get its, his number from, and if I die, you have not bugs alone. Uh, I think he can call you sometimes to give you berries, uh, yeah, yeah, which is kind of cool. I don't know if that's a thing in this game, though. I don't know why I want to, well, you know, I'll pick you anyways, whatever. It's like trying to pick you to think, it's like, oh, you're super effective against Luna Child, but no, you aren't. <laughs> I, I, would, I think that, I don't know. Yukari's not learned a, a new move yet. I think I know what you, move you learn next. It's actually interesting you learn it as early as you do. It's weird that it's your next move. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of nice it is, considering what, what the move is, but... Um... I forgot about the type chart, but whatever. Uh, I think I remember water in this game is uh, weak to elect electric, uh, grass, and poison, right? And World League was uh, water weak to poison, I don't remember. Like, I remember that in this game because I remember, like, that was a thing in, like, in purple and unnamed and enhanced. Like, I do recall the, I already mentioned this before, the type chart. Like, you would think, considering what the types are like, it's like, the vanilla types would be, like, very similar to, or the same as World League, but there is quite a few differences, I think, from what I remember, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I would have been final level six, but whatever. Oh, I'm stupid. I was gonna, well, do this with Aya, right? I'm not paying attention. Using all of my mods, yeah. I was currently using Sarah again because she's good against uh, Cherno, but whatever. Sakura is technically is too, so whatever. What I like about Gen 2, uh, I think... I don't think it's the only generation, like, of games to do this kind of thing, but... Like, I recall Gen 2 doing this more than the others. That the uh, trainers will have, like, uh... Pokemon that, like, you, you can't get until, like, way later. And they, they don't, like, only have stuff you can catch around, you know? Uh, I was reminded of that seeing him, because I think Cherno is not, like, one you could catch, like, very early on, I think. I don't remember. Oh, I had another trainer to, like, randomly call me and interrupt me. Randomly, yeah, yeah. The, the, they call based off time, I think. The time of day or whatever. So I think, like, I remember, like, when I kept reloading safe state to do stuff, I the trainer, the trainer would always freaking call me. Uh, well, Joey, they, oh, basically, just him. Every single time I'd load a safe state, every time I'd do his stuff. Uh, wait. Huh. Maybe, maybe you are over here. Maybe you're just a rare encounter. It's weird. You might not be in, in the nighttime, though. I don't know. I did not. I forgot you were over here. I've used you in the past. Uh, yeah, you're... Uh, by the way, no, you're not the one I'm... Um, not planning on using her, you know. I had a feeling that would happen. That's why I made a save state first. <laughs> 
It's probably getting really long, but I still want to go to Vile City first. Should be fine, right? Whatever. At this point, maybe I should just make this a half hour recording and make the other one also a half hour recording. <laughs> and just only have two parts. Actually, you know what? I just realized. I'm trying to think of what I want to do for the rest of the episode. I made a safe save earlier, anyways, whatever. Um, like, how. I normally like to do a Sprout Tower or whatever the hell it's called. Of course. I should have. Yeah, when I don't think to save, of course that happens, uh, whatever. Anyways, I always like to do that before the gym, even though I don't think I technically have to do it first. I'd like to do the whole thing in one episode. I'm assuming that's what I want to do next. Are you freaking kidding me? Come on. At this point, I'm just gonna... Tapped on, I'm just, uh, catching this later. <laughs> that almost worked in with full health, my god. Okay, uh, that took a bit. I might cut some of that out, because uh, that took way longer than I should have. Uh, see Shizuha, Minoriko's calm elder sister, a goddess of the autumn season, but not very good at fighting. I'm assuming Minoriko is probably here, too. Maybe she's the day encounter here. It would be weird to have him in different locations, my god. So anyways, if it, um... I'd like to do it in one episode, I'm assuming I'm gonna, want, I'm gonna end up doing it this episode, uh, Sprout Tower. If it takes longer than a half hour, uh, I'll just make this a longer episode, I guess. I took a while talking about sh shit earlier anyways, right? That's why I'm like, it's already been almost a half hour, even though I just got here, whatever. Okay, I checked my recording, um... Kinda awkward- uh, Awkwardly there, because I just uh, did that without saying I was going to, but yeah. Because I figured I would cut me, like, going into the center and healing and I would leave. I'm like, technically I have not shown off the interior in this game yet, so um, like, I'll st actually start, um, well, in it. Um, even though you didn't technically didn't see me walk into it and heal or whatever. Uh, yeah, you're anyways. Uh, I'm assuming you have nothing, nothing interesting. To, I don't know why I'm talking to people in here or whatever. So anyways, uh... Yeah, you're so, uh... I think it says I had Chrome open before, but like, uh... Audacity and uh, OBS, like OBS especially was like being very... Kinda laggy-ish and was like, it was concerning me, like... I think it says I had Chrome open, I almost forgot to close it before I started recording, yeah, uh, yeah. Cause like, it was fine after I, uh... Closed it, yeah. I was like, I shouldn't have risked making a part that long, but it, it, everything was fine, though, you know. OBS, uh, I was like, it was... I think it was, like, during last Amori's episode, OBS was acting weird, yeah. Um, and then one, like, turn off, like, uh, like I was supposed to, unless I clicked on OBS itself. Like, I made it the active window, but, uh... Yeah, it's, it's behaving normally now, like, for last episode of Amazing Mirror was fine, and for this episode... At least so far, it's been fine, yeah, yeah. I think, like, instead of Bellsprout, Minorico, Minorico is, like, it's a replacement, yeah. Like, I think it's specifically Minorico, not Shizuwa. I, th I think they have... The trainers have both, though, yeah. I think they some have Aya, too. I think Aya replaced Hoodoo as their other one, I think. Which is kind of weird, because you think it'd be Misty, as it's Misty is a night encounter, or whatever. Okay, I was like, well, I was wondering, I was like, there's something, there's something I want to talk about, but I kept, like, what was it, what was it again, I, um, yeah, so, um, I know I've been talking kind of, uh, I feel like I've been talking kind of low today, because, uh, I don't have as much energy, uh, as much energy today, because I have been, um, because it's Sunday, yeah, you're, um, uh, so, uh, but it's like, yeah, I think partially because of that, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to lower the game volume quite a bit again for this recording in here. I think that might be, like, a part of why the game volume is as high as it is compared to my voice, yeah, here. I also forgot I is gonna be really good here because, uh, the grass type is yeah, here. I kept thinking, like, I'm gonna have to swap her out a bunch to level up, but not really. Is 
they all going to be around level 5, I should be fine then, yeah. I think they're going to, like, um, they're only level 3, right, um, in vanilla. They're level 5 here, because the levels are bo boosted a bit, yeah. Yeah, since it's both, uh, Aki sisters, it's definitely more variety than normal. Like, level 6, I mean. Yeah, I had, a, I had a feeling like I overleveled a bit more than I needed to technically, but whatever. Like I guess before, I'm like, I is technically taking EXP from them, but like, she's already level 7 too, so... Nice. I don't know why you learn both, I think they both have generally the same power. Weird. Oh, I guess Gus, Gus is technically better, whatever. <laughs> it's still silly though. Maybe it's because, uh, I think whoever made this game liked, because, uh, Worlds League, Worlds League and, like, other games similar to it that have, like, uh, moveset, like, the movesets from those games, yeah, I think the creator of this game, like, took it from one of those games, uh, and altered them to, like, fit Gen 2, because some, obviously some moves they would not be able to bring over, like, for example, I think Sarah at level, um, like Sarah knows Lear now, right? Uh, in Gen 3, she would normally have Howl instead of Lear. Uh, I think she had, was given Lear because, uh, like, Howl's not in Gen 3, so it's the replacement for Howl, you know? I guess it's, like, the closest thing she could have gotten in place of Howl, like, I suppose, yeah. That's why she gets Lear instead. I don't think in a world, like, she can learn Lear, so... The Aukies. I guess it is both, but I think it show it's, like, mostly Minoriko, from what I remember, anyway. Oh, young time. It's weird to say that for my own eye, I am. So I was also like, uh, like I, I, I'm probably gonna need a flying tap. I don't know why I didn't think of that beforehand, you know. Like I thought of that for like in between like last episode and this one, you know. And I remembered like I think Kenya is I in this game. Like that could be funny, but I'm like. Just to have like something that could like I might like to use fly later, yeah. Then I found like an actual Aya like over there. Like I already I already found her, yeah. Like I might if I like I might as well just use this one then, yeah. I suppose. Since I have space on my team technically. Yeah, you're As I'm wondering. If I was to learn something else at level, but level seven or eight, and um, it's not in in Gen two, so Gus was just put in its place to, as filler, I suppose. Maybe that's why, or maybe even in worlds like she learns both for no reason. <laughs> it's it's really weird. Like honestly, tackle would be more helpful than having both. Yeah, for even for more variety of like type type coverage, whatever. Because she technically has no normal attack. Very silly. Why is that prostitute weird? Frickin' fuzzlement. I don't think in Gen 3 it does it, that's why I didn't think to press it right away, yeah. Like, I wasn't even thinking, like, of Aya being really useful here. Uh, technically, Aya's my best one here, I think, right? I have nothing else super effective against Grass. Like, obviously, if I thought of that, I would have been like, I can just grind, uh, have Aya level up um, in uh, Aki Tower. I don't know what the hell it's called. And I forgot I forgot to see Kano's here. I think she's the replacement for Ghastly. I think it's... C, Kana, and um, I'm assuming Chen, Chen as well, because Rattata's here normally, right? I forgot, uh, you're a part normal, so you're, <laughs> you're immune, lol. Uh, I was about to save War of the Safe State I made earlier with the home. I think I remember, like, this game actually being one of the first time I saw Kana, actually. Uh, for some reason, I thought you'd be a, you would be a pain to catch, I don't know why. Maybe I just got lucky, I don't know. I see Kana, a poltergeist girl tied to a western-styled mansion. 
she seems seems rather depressed lately. I've definitely seen her like in war like a world like in purple or whatever, right? So if this was the first game I saw her and that that that's that technically it's been quite a while since I've played this and that's actually weird to think about because I don't I guess I think it's like I'm playing it now for a playthrough. It feels like it wasn't that long ago ago, but maybe that was Maybe it actually was, because if, like, if I saw you here first, that means I played this before I finished my World Again Purple playthroughs, and then that's actually kind of crazy. You're awful here, so I'm not even going to bother humoring Luna Chalpin. Because I didn't grind Aya off screen at all, right? She's already <laughs> at that level, my god. I don't know why I thought it would take way longer. She's only level 3, uh, and this early in the game, 3 is not that technically that low. I was thinking about using Leer, and I'm like, uh, I guess I could use this. Focus energy, or yeah, yeah. So she has a chance of holding a focus band in this game. Doesn't mean she doesn't World Link 2, because otherwise, why. Is it? Does she have a chance to that's really chance to then that's really random. Cause I'm thinking like maybe like there's no like was it black belt that raises fighting type moves? I'm like surely there is, right? Like it'd be weird if Focus Band was introduced in Pokemon before the black the uh, black belt was. I think it's black belt is what it's called, right? I think in this ROM hack, they're the same thing. There weren't. I forget which Pokemon game it was, they changed it to be like different, like outfits or whatever. Yeah, you're. Instead of like the regular names and appearance for the items. I think in this game, in the game though, they, I would say they have the same appearance, yeah, totally. They You can't see what they look like in Gen 2, yeah. But the, the names, I think, are the same. Because I think I remember getting like the pink bow or whatever. I mean, yeah, I have the Focus Man. I think it was called Focus Ribbon in one of the Tohomon games, at least one of them. Clearly not in this game. I was wondering if I actually want to edit the video tonight. It's really f weird. Um, yeah, last Sunday, I'm like, I don't want to record tonight. Uh, like last Sunday because I didn't have the energy to edit it. But I was thinking today, it's like I probably won't have the energy to edit, but I want to record anyways, which is like, then why the hell didn't I do that last Sunday then? I don't know. But uh, I I felt like I have more energy now than I thought I would. Maybe I will at least humor the idea of doing that. It's like there's something I have to do tomorrow. Like kind of sort of early-ish and I'm like... But it's like, uh, if I stay up late to edit this, it's not a big deal because since I'm recording this today, I, that means I don't have to record tomorrow night, so. I guess I technically could, but, um, like I'm worried about, like, I could do it Tuesday, I have no reason to do it tomorrow. It's really weird, I think I'm, like, starting, like, uh, recording this week and I don't have to record the following day. That's obviously why I prefer to record Sundays instead of Mondays. Because I don't like having two, like, right next to each other, two recording days. Like, I've been doing that because I'm like, uh, it's better because Sunday I'm always too tired now. Yeah, you're... That's why I really wanted to do it today, and, uh, yeah, you're... Yeah, I want to level up Luna Child because I'm going to need her for the gym, you know. This... I don't know why I thought I wouldn't really have time for, um... Sprout Tower today. I always think it's longer than an act, longer to do than it actually is. I don't know why. Before I think it's easier because I uh, not, probably wouldn't have mattered that much, honestly. Like I was thinking, it's maybe because I over level, but I, I've been using Aya mostly, right? I didn't level her up off screen, so yeah. I think I remember the gym being kind of a pain in this game, like level wise. So maybe that, like, it might end up being a good thing, then, that, um, I leveled them up this much, then. 
I'm serious to die, I really need a level up Luna Child. I completely forgot about that. Honestly, since I'm almost done with this already, I might actually just do the gym this episode then. Like, if this took only this long, then the gym probably won't take that long either. Unless I have, like, difficulty, like, with the trainers for some reason. What do you want? Good evening. It's me, Gotta Admit, now you... Uh, you don't- you don't call me to, like, say, I have berries for you in silver, right? And that's... Like, why couldn't it have been a, been a crystal ROM I could said? I still have no idea why it's silver instead. There's so many, like, quality of life or whatever changes made to crystal that makes it, uh, preferable to play over silver, but whatever. What I really like about this ROM I think, it's like, from what I- th From what I- no, it's the only Gen, gen 2 uh, Token 1 game, so. So it's like nice that one exists at all, honestly, but yeah. Are they normally level 7 over here? They're like. They're higher on the top floor. Maybe, it, maybe it's 6, I don't know. I can't remember. remember. I just think it's weird it's only seven considering what they were like in the lower floors, whatever. Dude. Yeah, you're... You're at least... At least you reached uh, uh, another level, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, I was right, it's I. Uh, hey, now I can use you. <laughs> it's like it's randomly, randomly, like, in vanilla they have hoodoo, it's randomly. I guess it's, like, for variety, I guess, but, like... I guess it makes sense it's a flying type because, like, there's a flying gym right next to the Sprout Tower, I suppose, yeah. Although, funny enough, the gym leader doesn't have hoodoo, but whatever. You should have used a normal, normal attack. Like, pe like feather jab. <laughs> a background noise. I hope that didn't get caught in recording. Anyways, uh, I should be fine for this fight, right? You are indeed skilled as a trainer, as promised. Here's your HM. Let me say this, you should treat Tohomon better the way you battle is far too harsh. Tohomon are not tools of war. Humph. He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. Everyone knows that Elders are very, very powerful. Like, what the hell? It stands to reason. I never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Tohomon. I only care about strong Tohomon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Tohomon. Oh my god, he's so edgy, he's so full of edge, oh my god. Oh my god, the Gen 2 ride was so freaking annoying. <laughs> Anyways, um, what does he start with? There's a grass type or a flying type, I can't remember. Uh, assuming it's grass, so I'll pick I, uh... Who has kind of low health, but whatever. Autumn Tower. You could, technically could have called it Aki Tower, because I think Aki is Japanese for Autumn, right? <laughs> That's why they're called the Aki Sisters in the first place. I'm pretty sure I'm remembering that, right? Yeah, you're starting with a grass demos, right? I decided to, uh... Like, this ended up being a better idea than I thought, like, already to be using Aya <laughs> for... Yeah, that's probably why I'm going through this so quick, actually. Sand attack failed. And Gen 1 and 2, like, status moves like that, like, the AI will use will fail for, like, no reason sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why. In Gen 3, they're probably like, yeah, why is that a thing? Why did we decide to do that? I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure Gen 3, like, they, yeah, I don't recall that at 
being a thing in Gen 3, so yeah. He is the oldest Gen to not do that then. Uh, yeah, I have to give another guy. Grass Typu. Yeah, you normally have two Brawl Sprouts and Hooted, right? It, it works out in this game because, yeah, now you have, like, all three different ones that can go in. I know I, I is a higher level, but, um... But she's good against Minarico, so... Because you have more opportunities to use the others later. I think from here on out, I don't, don't run into, like, that many grass types, so... Like, at least compared to, to Autumn Tower, yeah, you're... Surely. Should have no problem using this move. Take the Slash HM. I don't need this for later, obviously. You know, darkest of all places, but to use that... You need the badge from Violet's Gym. Uh, I guess you're running Flash's... Similar to World Like Flash, I don't think it's it's slightly not as good as World Like Flash, but it's decent. Huh. I might get started giving it to Luna Child actually. Um, a new Kari, it's a bit redundant because I forgot to have like better psychic moves on it. Yeah, it's psychic type in this game. I don't want to show off by like trying to give it to one of them because they have like not full move set stuff yet, so. I'll just automatically give it to him, so I'll show it off later anyways. Uh, because I really don't like to waste stuff, uh, I have to conserve items, especially at the beginning. Uh, obviously, this escape room, I'm sure, is meant to just leave the tower immediately, but I'm not a walk down normally instead. I'm, I'll just cut to me going back there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm outside the Tohomon Center instead of Sprout Tower for some reason. That's so... That's so weird, I wonder why that happened, uh, how that happened, what the hell. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, um, I figured I might as well check my recording, uh, and heal off screen, so I did, yeah. Uh, so, like, I didn't, I, I didn't actually want to make another half hour recording, like, I shouldn't risk doing that, uh. So I'm planning on, uh, <clears throat> so I think I'll have time, I'll actually do the gym, um, to end off the episode, but I just real something I forgot about, uh, I want to check, yeah. Oh, I do. Or maybe as a trade you want? I'll I'll make a note to do that next episode. I don't feel like doing it now. I feel like that's something I definitely need to write down because I'm gonna forget about it if I don't. So yeah, you're like I'm hearing myself talk during editing. Yeah, you're so I'm sure I'll remember to write it down at some point. Most of the time, I tend to write it down before like I like I don't need a reminder for myself uh, while editing, but uh, I will have definitely have that reminder in case I need it. I normally don't, though, I guess you're wondering anyways. I don't know if I'm... I still want to use you for every fight. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I almost forgot about this. Uh, yeah, you're right. Check your moveset. Uh, I'll check my recording uh, off-screen. Yeah, you're right. I feel like giving you this should be fine. So uh, I actually will do that. So yeah, you're Cover coverage wise you have like not that many options like other than like electric and normal and whatever 50 that's not very high but whatever like you're a temp member technically anyway so it's not a big deal also this is a gen 2 so <laughs> yeah you remember before when I was playing XD I'm like um Gen 3 is like an early enough gen that um, Rock Tomb isn't a bad, that bad of a move for Aggron even late in the game. <laughs> and this is a gen before that, so... I think the moves are technically like a bit better in this ROM I think, than Vanilla, I believe, or whatever. Yeah, you were. They're, it's 70 base power in um, World League, right? Flash is like way better than it deserves to be honestly. It's like, and I kept that keeping on Shizuo for the whole um, game. I mean, Shizuo has, had like barely any coverage options, like especially special attack options. Yeah, I think it, Shizuo can learn like Earthquake or something for some reason. But yeah, anyways, that uh, Mist, you only had Misty right, but it was um, like one Misty. It was level ten though. So, um, damn, that's high. Oh, yo. Uh, 
Pretty, ty pretty tired, though. Um, for editing, I might be fine, though, but, like, for recording, yeah, you're... I think I remember, like, last time I recorded, like, Amazing Mirror or whatever, um... I was thinking, like, you when you had, like, a Psychic and Electric Time movies, like, you don't have a normal move yet, you have Scratch, technically, yeah, you do have a normal... <laughs> whatever, I don't know why... I think I'm, like, a decent amount of party members that only have, like, their stab as attack options and not actual normal move. That's probably why. Yeah, because Sar Sarah, Aya, and Yukari don't have any normal type moves. I forgot who you, you were using. Whatever. I remember it was, like, I think I was, like, talking a lot. I remember I was, like, making myself, like, feeling, like, tired because I think I was talking so much. Today I don't really feel like that. Maybe it's because I'm not talking as loud, I don't know. Maybe I should just not talk that loud then when I record. <laughs> that would probably mean I would have to, like, edit down the game volume more, but whatever. I think I mentioned before, like, a while back. I think I might have, like... I used to have, like, the mic volume uh, like, a bit lower, right? I think I might, might have made it, like, 85 by accident, and I just le decided to leave it like that, because I'm, like... I mean, it's like I talk lower, technically, I guess, if I... Since it's mic like, volume higher, anyway. Then 85 just become normal volume. And I think I tend to talk, lo uh, like, as loud as I used to, anyways, whatever, yeah. I guess now I'm thinking, like, maybe, uh, it wouldn't be a good idea to do this. It's like, you'd, you guys would be used to me, uh... I think my game and mic volume is, like, fairly consistent for, uh, most of my other recordings, yeah. Maybe, if, like, every once in a while it's a bit lower or whatever, but, yeah. But I think I, if I suddenly started doing that, it would be noticeable, though, whatever. Surely it's not that big of a deal, right? Uh, I'm assuming you guys wouldn't care that much, but whatever. I don't know. Because I'm gonna heal before I... Before I get here. I'm trying to remember what you have as, um... Falconer has, anyways. If Falconer is... If, assuming I get through this fight uh, fairly quickly, um... Which I might, because I think my level-wise I should be fine, yeah. If I, especially if I don't take into account the stuff I, like, the time I talk, spent talking about stuff at the beginning, uh, this video won't be too, too long, right? I was even thinking, like, maybe I should record a bit longer to compensate, but, uh, like, it would be a good stopping point to stop after this, uh, no matter how long it takes. So, yeah, you're, uh, I guess I'll start with you. Now, have Luna Child take out his second one. I'm assuming you only have two, right? Because in Vanilla, you only have two. People say you can clip flying type with a jolt of electricity, even though I think in vanilla you can't get an electric type until later, but whatever. The bird Pokemon, I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. I think you normally have access to Geodude in vanilla, right? And Onyx technically from the trade. But I don't... I was like, yeah, rock is a type, yeah, in this game because it's vanilla types, but, um... I don't think there's any rock types, um... What? Have access to yet, right? You have access to Electro type, the Luna Child, uh, yeah, obviously, but uh, so you'll, you'll have something uh, super effective. I got some technically, uh, I do because I have Luna Child. Uh, that's actually p part of the reason I'm using her in the first place for good for Falconer here. I just realized though, that's actually really weird that uh, there are no rock types around though. I got Sarah, but Sarah's fighting not rock, so... Like, around the mountain, whatever. Like, normally I would catch Geodude there. Geodude, I think, is also in Dark Cave as well, right? You know? That's normally what I'd use against Falconer, is Geodude. Oh, you have three, I just realized. Holy crap. I'm gonna stick with Io. Why do you have three for? I think it's because it I grinded a decent amount. Uh, I would be fine, but now I'm getting worried. Look at that, it already helped quite a bit, yeah. Definitely want to save Luna Child for later, uh, yeah, you were. Did that ever mention before, like, the gym, like, level wise, is, oh boy, yeah. I mean, I can't beat him now, I'll just, uh, do it later, whatever. I want to see if I can beat him with, like, the levels I, they are at, though.
Maybe I should have tried Sarah since so like your accuracy is lowered, you know, like when else would I use Sarah, so oh nice. Maybe I'll be fine then. What? Oh, I was gonna say like you <laughs> having a bitter berry be incredibly random. Okay, berry is the bit less nonsensical. Because what else would I have that can confuse other than Yukari at this point? <laughs> of course. I think Lucar Yukari will take it out. Out Misty, though, but yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh, I guess your last one, man. You don't have, like, a random, like, evolved thing on your team. 13 is high, though, for this. Early in the game, I'm trying to remember. I think Flash's chance to lower accuracy in this game is. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. It's 50, right? It's not 100 like in the world. Like, I, uh, I'm gonna have to do this again. For some reason, I thought it'd be like very fine. I was not. My sand attacker is I, and she was. Was fainted, right? Why am I using? The other member is Yukari, which is a special attacker, yeah. Possibly a best option would be just to use Karate Chop. I don't know why I did that. That's why I might as well try using you, Taro. I don't know what I was, I was expecting. Okay, I guess eventually you learn a normal move. Quick attack. I think I remember that you being your, that that being your earliest uh, yeah, year. I mean, your normal type, so yeah, it'd be stupid if you didn't learn one. But yep, I saved right before him, right? I'm about to see what time it is now. At 12.55, my god, it's late. Uh, wait, you have Mud Slap? Maybe I should use my own eye against you. Because, yeah, Lunar Child's weak. You know, I want to lead with Lunar Child then. Actually. So I'll have my own... The rest of my team not completely beat up before I... Uh, definitely have to be smarter about this. Because I was relatively fine until I... Uh, like, I, I lost, like, mostly because I'm a lower level, quite a bit lower than him. I think I, I thought I overleveled, I might have to grind more for this, okay. Why do you have Swift, though? My god! Like, I might have to use a potion or whatever, um, whatever. Yeah, n hell no. I'm not losing Luna Child already, that's ridiculous. Who did I use it against you last time? No, I don't, th I don't think you even have any, like, really a flying move. I'm gonna use Sarah against you. Why does that freaking thing have Swift? That's pretty decently strong move this early in the game. Maybe I shouldn't have done this yet. <laughs> That's probably being the last time I tried. I want to end recording soon. Wow, you're faster, no way. I feel like Sarah could take it pretty well. The fact that you're using Swift means you have like normal, no flying type move. I think it, t it took you a while to learn one, that's why I didn't like using Tohika when I tried using her in this game, yeah. That's it? Seriously? Is so annoying. I used Saku against her last time, right? Yeah. Oh my god. I have an idea. I used the. Uh... Focus energy. 
Yeah, I'll use Lear instead because that also helps Saki out later, you know. Then I say it was that was my whatever. Last attempt. <laughs> Maybe I should be putting berries on them to he help heal them for this fight. Maybe before I need berries or something later, but I can get sure I'll get plenty before that, you know. I don't think the levels past us are that much that high, so I don't want to have to grind too much for this fight. You, like, you barely don't have enough health to survive that one. It's okay not having Stabby, that's really annoying. I think I used Leer with you before, and I already have used it once, so... Luna, out, Luna child out speeds, right? I really hope so. You probably be a, a douche and use quick attack, though. I hope not, though. I mean, that would be the smart thing to do. Okay, you, thankfully, you didn't. I lost two there instead of one. That definitely went worse than before. I missed you. Oh, yeah. Of course, you also have this move. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on! I'm not doing this right now, this is ridiculous. See, I remember this being kind of a pain, yeah, that's an understatement, what the hell. Yeah, it really, it really makes a big difference when you have one more than before, my god. I, I think the only super effective thing you would have- Oh yeah, that, that, that trade uh, gives you Letty, right? I guess, yeah, okay. That definitely gives you an option also. I'm not gonna use Letty for that, you know, but, um... Uh, yeah, you are. I'll also do this trade, uh... Now, I guess. I was actually planning on recording for, like, just ten more minutes or whatever. Because my last, the other part of recorder was pretty long, but whatever. I could have totally stopped, but whatever. Might as well do this, uh... Why did I put you in this box? <laughs> that was, like, that was terror, right? <laughs> yeah, you were. They have totally shown this off already. Oh, I'm an idiot. My bad. But, um... I think when I was showing some border images I made as a test. I obviously will make like a little image at the bottom right for like my for my main box or whatever. I'm assuming I'm not gonna have that show up just because I actually put Terra in the main box. <laughs> yeah, you're good. I don't know why I always like to sh look at their stuff. Before I trade them, because uh, we'll be able to do it again, but whatever. It's a random Rumia I caught. I'm not planning on using it here. So, whatever. Hey, who the hell would use Rumia in a, in a pl Tohomar playthrough, am I right? Uh, yeah, you are. I'll read her Dex entry as well. Uh, while I still rem remember to be a year. Like, why would I not do it now, anyway, as well? Yeah, you're Kyle. Take my room, you know. The trade went to you because you're too late. Lazy to go catch your own. What do you ask for a trade? Yeah, you ask for Bell Sprout thing normally, right? Why why is it roomy on this game? That's weird. Yeah, Letty's actually a pretty good option against Falconer, because uh, Ice resists resist ground in this game, right? And Ice is also good against Flying, so... So for Mud Slap and um, for his Flying Team, Letty's pretty good. Get your Bianca. But Ice Rock? I forgot your part, Rock. 
Actually, isn't Rock weak to ground? I don't know. But I mean, it would still would at at worst do normal in a game. So I guess I might as well just keep Bianca in my team. You know, I don't need Terra in my team. So anyways, I'll, I didn't defeat Falconer this episode, but I wasn't really planning on doing that anyways today, so whatever. Next time, ooh, I will do that instead, yeah, yeah. Then, hopefully, I might consider grinding a bit more, because uh, he's oh boy level-wise, so. Anyways, until next time, I buy, I guess, dogs are yeah, Oh my god, it's already past 1 a.m. I, I highly doubt I'm finishing <laughs> editing this tonight, my god. Uh, bye, you. Uh, oops, I almost forgot about this, uh, my god, because how did I forget about this, like, five seconds after I said I was gonna do it, what the hell? Like, I was about to, like, uh, close, uh, OBS and Audacity, I was, like, checking my recording, I'm like, uh, I didn't read, Let Letty's next entry, did I, my god, I uh, see Letty's, what number are you? Okay. You have Krabby Scry for some reason. Did I say I was gonna leave it at old, yeah, I, you know. I think I, I... Said I'll leave it at new. I'm like, um, I change my mind again because it's it'd be annoying to have to keep changing back and forth. I might just leave it like this, whatever. I uh, see Letty, a girl who appears and lives only during the winter, weak to heat to the point of melting. Okay, I read it now. Uh, <laughs> like I might as well like like I have to make another part. Uh, well, whatever. I'm like, uh, I remembered. Re I. I forgot, but then I remember it again. I'm like, I might as well just do it now. I still have my mic set up and whatever. Uh, yeah, so I did it now anyways. Anyways, yeah. Bye for real this time. Talk is real.